This is the Al-Qaeda terrorist who officials believe handcrafted the deadly cargo bombs bound for two Chicago synagogues. Ibrahim Hassan al-Asiri is a master bomb builder for Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula and the architect of the failed underwear bomb attack on Christmas Day. Asiri, shown here with his face partially covered, also built the body cavity bomb which his brother, the man on the left, used in a suicide attack against a Saudi counterterrorism official. Like the others, the cargo bombs, hidden in printers, were highly sophisticated, powerful, carefully wired and concealed, all hallmarks of al-Qaeda's expertise. We are concerned about individuals in Yemen who have uh, very proficient bomb-making capabilities, who are very dangerous. So I do think that there are a number of individuals uh, who are responsible for uh, putting this plot together. But the only suspect arrested so far has now been freed. A young woman, an engineering student, was held for a day when investigators accused her of shipping the explosive packages out of Yemen. But authorities say the real shipper had stolen and used the woman's identity in mailing the bombs. While the printer bombs were ultimately destined for the U.S. on cargo planes, at least one of the devices spent some time on two passenger jets. Qatar Airways revealed it shipped one of the explosive packages on a passenger plane from Yemen to Doha, and then on a second flight on to Dubai before it was finally discovered. Officials cannot explain how a device filled with nearly a pound of explosives twice escaped detection before being loaded onto passenger planes. Now UPS and FedEx have stopped all shipments from Yemen. Great Britain has done the same. We have immediately banned packages coming to or through Britain from the Yemen, and we will be looking extremely carefully at any further steps we have to take. The U.S. has also put a temporary hold now on cargo from Yemen. And while the FBI has already checked and cleared more than a dozen suspect packages mailed around the same time as the bombs, Officials can't yet say if they've completely shut down the plot. Now, the bombs were powerful enough to bring down airplanes, certainly, but it's not known if they were designed to go off in the air or on the ground. And increasingly, it seems the Chicago synagogues may not have been the actual targets. Russ? Bob Orr in Washington. Thanks.